slide back. Cunard's new 29 and a half million pound liner, Queen Elizabeth II, was making her first voyage. From the John Brown shipyards, where she was built and launched, the majestic new Queen of the Seas moved gracefully downriver to Greenock and Dry Dock. Aboard with Captain Warwick, the liner's master, was Prince Charles. Though it was a dull, murky morning, nothing could dampen the spirits of the thousands who lined the water route to cheer the ship on her way. In three hours and three minutes, the new Cunada had covered the 13 miles between the place of her birth and the dry dock where she will get her final beauty treatment before heading out into the ocean. Up on the bridge, these were tense moments for Captain Warwick and the pilot, Captain Peter Thompson. It took incredible skill to maneuver the huge vessel into the snug-fitting dock. But smooth as silk in the expert hands of two master mariners, all the 65,000 tons of the 963-foot-long lovely lady of luxury travel slid gracefully into her riverside beauty parlor where she'll be fitted out in preparation for her maiden voyage. On Clyde's side, they've been calling her her ladyship, and with good reason. Both in and out of the water, she cuts a noble figure. And according to both her pilot and Captain Warwick, she behaved beautifully on her first outing. Even the slight scrape she got into went completely unexpected. When the Queen Elizabeth II makes her maiden voyage on December the 10th, Cunard will own the world's greatest liner, a worthy successor to two other queens of the sea.